Okay, we're going to be taking a look at Cisco Packet Tracer in this session. Um, the version I'm using in this tutorial is version 6.0.1. Okay, in this session, uh, we're going to be creating a basic local area network, a basic LAN. Okay, let's make a start. So if we go into the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see all the assets that we've got available to us. Um, in this case, we're going to be setting up a LAN with two PCs and a switch. So we'll start with the PCs then. We move down to end devices in the bottom left hand corner. And we can see the generic PC. We drag that in. Drag two in. Okay. And also, we're going to need a switch. In this case, we're going to be using the 2960 switch. Okay. Um, We've now got the assets we need up on screen. Uh, we now need to connect them together. So you'll see a bright orange um, lightning bolt. We click on there. And we've got the copper straight through cable. We'll select that and click the first PC. Now it's going to give us an option of where we want to plug that cable into. In this case, we're going to be using the fast ethernet port. So we select the fast ethernet port. Take the cable over to the switch and click the switch and choose our first available fast ethernet port. In this case, it's fast, fast ethernet zero slash one. Okay, they're connected. We're going to repeat this process on the next PC. So select the copper straight through, select the PC, select the correct port, over to the switch and select fast ethernet zero slash two. Okay, you can see now that both our PCs are connected to the switch. These computers aren't going to be able to communicate on a network without some form of addressing scheme. Um, at the moment, these PCs are labeled PC2 and PC3. I'm just going to change those so we know which IP address we are select uh, using for each. So I'm going to click in here, and our first uh, IP address that we're going to use is going to be 192.168.1.101, okay? A class C address. We're going to move across to the next PC and we're going to pop in 192.168.1.102. Okay, now they're just labels. We've not physically changed the IP address of the PC yet. So let's have a look at how we do that. We're going to go over to the first PC here and we're going to double click. Once we double click, uh, we're going to be given all the options, um, all the changes that we can make to the PC. In our case, we want to be making changes to the IP address, so we'll go into the config setting, and we're going to select the fast Ethernet interface. Okay, brilliant. So, we can see here in IP configuration that we've got no IP address or subnet mask selected. Okay, so we're going to give the computer the IP address that we've selected, which is 192.168.1.101. Now, because this is a class C address, uh, Cisco Packet Tracer should automatically identify that we need a 255.255.255.0 subnet mask, which it's done. Fantastic. Once that's set, come out of that and we'll move on to the next PC. Exactly the same again. Double click into config, fast Ethernet interface, over to a static IP, 192.168. Dot one, dot one zero two, subnet mask of two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. Come out of there, okay. Now each of these PCs has now got an IP address, and our PC here on the left should be able to communicate with the PC here on the right. Okay, so how do we prove that? We need to double click on the PC again, and we're going to click on the third tab along, which is desktop. We're then going to select command prompt, which will bring us up with a command prompt. And we're going to use the ping tool. Ooh. Ping tool to communicate with the other PC. So we'll type in the command ping, followed by the IP address of the other PC. So the other PC, PC's IP address is 192.168.1.102. And then we'll press enter. And as you can see, the PC has replied, so it's communicating on the network. 
Just to confirm that, we're going to go over to PC2, double click, over to desktop, to the command prompt, and we're going to do the same again. Ping 192.168.1.101 this time, because we're communicating with the other PC. Hit enter. And as you'll see, we're getting a reply from the other PC.